Hi everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. I've got a really exciting commission piece to do now. It's for a really, really good friend of mine called Sharon. Um, the base colour is purple. She loves purples and she loves mauves. So I've made a base colour out of Amsterdam paint. I am mixing permanent blue violet with ultramarine violet. So I've got a combination of these two colours um, to make the base colour. I'm using some other Amsterdam paints. I'm quite new to Amsterdam paints. Um, not used them in the in the Dutch pour before, um, apart from on the white base. I'm using phthalo green and um, a violet colour. And then I'm using my really familiar Pebio Studio acrylics. Um, the gold, um, violet blue, um, green yellow, and then the white pearl. Um, because it's going to be a really dark purple base, I need the light colour. So I need, um, I'm, instead of using white, I'm using the, the pearlescent colour. I'm just hoping that all the, the metallics and the Amsterdams together will react beautifully to create lots of cells and a really lovely pattern. Um, so let's get the canvas and get started. Is the wet result. Um, this painting took me ages. I kept adding bits, taking bits away, um, but I'm so happy with it. So the dark purple is just gorgeous. I'm definitely um, happy with these Amsterdam colours. Um, let's go in for a close-up. So I think it's the combination of different paint types um, and the Floetrol, but you just, you get lots of cells and just lots of really interesting designs within the pattern, within, within the actual painting. The colours are gorgeous. I was a little bit worried because there's such contrasting colours. The green and the purple, I just didn't want them to mix to make really muddy colours. That's probably my favourite bit there, really love that bit. 
And then the top right hand corner. Again, look at those gorgeous cells. Love them. And then let's come down this side. So there's lots of metallic paints in here. So when this is dry, I'm hoping that will just really shimmer and look beautiful. Um, as it dries, the purple will look darker. The base will look darker. So that should mean that there'll be better contrast between the colours, the, the design and the base. Um, so I will show you next um, the dry result. And here it is dry. Um, I'm so excited about it. I'm so happy. I just love it. The purple is just so nice and deep, um, exactly what I was wanting. Um, I've added lots of shimmery bits to the painting, um, which are just looking looking amazing. I'm really happy with them. Let me take you in for a close up. Um, I just I'm just loving it. This shimmer for all these little bits here is just beautiful. All the cells, um, and I really like these bits here as well. These just wispy bits. Just looks like smoky bits in the purple. Really like that bit, that little section of cells there. And I like all these little wiggly lines I've added. I just think the colours work so well. They're not colours I would have chosen. So this is why I just love commissions so much because I'm out of my comfort zone. I'm using colours which I wouldn't have ordinarily put together. Um, but the combination of purple and green is one of my favourites now. Really, really loving it. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and then you'll and, and hit the notification bell and you'll get the notification as soon as I post a new video up. Um, and please leave me comments, good or bad, constructive, please, um, to help me improve and to, to help my to help my videos um, become more informative and more enjoyable. Please comment. Um, great. Thank you. Bye.